everyone. So today, we will be talking about coryza. Coryza is a word describing the symptoms of a cold. It describes the inflammation of the mucous membranes lining the nasal cavity, which usually gives rise to the symptoms of nasal congestion and loss of smell, among other symptoms. Common cold is prevalent during fall, winter, and spring. More than 200 viruses can cause a cold, but rhinoviruses are the most common type. Viruses that can cause cold can spread from person to person through the air and close personal contact. Other viruses that can lead to cold include coronavirus, adenovirus, respiratory syncytial virus. The coronavirus that causes a cold is different from SARS-CoV-2, which causes COVID-19. COVID-19 and a cold are different diseases. Many types of virus can cause a cold, and the human body can never build up resistance to them. This is why colds are so common and often return. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, adults on average get two to three colds per year, and children may have more. They usually last around seven to 10 days. Cold spread through droplets in the air, and in surfaces. The virus usually enters through your mouth, eyes, or nose. It infects the cell by getting into a living cell and replicating there. The infected cell eventually dies and releases virus particles. These particles in turn infect other cells. Cold viruses are spread through tiny air droplets that are released when a sick person sneezes, coughs, or blows his or her nose and talk. A healthy individual who is exposed to this infected secretion, either by directed contact or by touching the contaminated object, becomes infected. Often after their contaminated hand touches their own eyes, mouth, or nose. Cold can affect anyone at any time of year, but some factors can increase the risk. Close contact with someone who has a cold. Season. Colds are more common during the fall, spring, and winter, but it is possible to get a cold any time of the year. Age. Infants and young children have more colds per year than adults, having a weak immune system. Symptoms usually occur after one to three days of being exposed to a cold virus. These signs and symptoms may vary from person to person and include dry, scratchy, or sore throat that usually resolves quickly, runny nose or congestion, sneezing triggered by nasal congestion, slight fever and chills, this is more common in children than adults, coughing, usually dry at first but later can be accompanied by sputum and phlegm, headache, and loss of smell. A cold is not usually serious, and colds mostly disappear after 7 to 10 days. Sometimes, however, complications can occur. These are most likely to affect those with a weakened immune system. Pneumonia, acute bronchitis, bronchiolitis, croup, otitis media, strep throat. A cold can worsen the symptoms of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis. How to protect yourself. Wash your hands often with soap and water. Wash them for 20 seconds and help young children do the same. If soap and water are not available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Viruses that cause cold can live on your hands, and regular hand washing can help protect you from getting sick. Second, avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Viruses that cause cold can enter your body this way and make you sick. Stay away from people who are sick. Sick people can spread viruses that cause the common cold through close contact with others. How to protect others. Stay at home while you are sick and keep children out of school or daycare while they are sick. Avoid close contact with others, such as hugging, kissing, or shaking hands. Move away from people before coughing or sneezing. Cough and sneeze into a tissue, then throw it away. Or cough and sneeze into your upper shirt sleeve, 
completely covering your mouth and nose. Wash your hands after coughing, sneezing, or blowing your nose. Disinfect frequently touched surfaces and objects, such as toys, doorknobs, and mobile devices. There are no vaccines for the common cold. Polyvalent bacterial vaccines, citrus fruits, vitamins, ultraviolet light, glycol aerosols, and other folk remedies do not prevent the common cold. Hand washing and use of surface disinfectants in a contaminated environment may reduce spread of infection. There is no cure for a cold, but treatment can help manage symptoms, just like drinking plenty of fluids, resting, adjusting your room's temperature and humidity, soothing your throat, and using saline nasal drops. For medical management, pain relievers such as um, acetaminophen and NSAIDs, this is to relieve headaches and fever. Decongestant, this is intended to reduce stuffiness. Antihistamine, for stop sneezing and a runny nose. Cough suppressants, to reduce coughing. Expectorants, to loosen the mucus. A doctor can diagnose the common cold based on your signs and symptoms and findings during physical examination. If there are concerns about underlying medical conditions, such as a bacterial infection, your doctor may order an x-ray or other test. No cure exists for the common cold. The common cold will resolve with the time on its own and expectant management. Home remedies and medical treatment are directed at relieving the symptoms associated with the common cold. Nursing Diagnosis an effective breathing pattern related to inflammation from viral infection. Nursing management. Assess vital signs, carefully monitoring respiratory status for baseline rate, rhythm, and character, and notify the physician or significant changes. Auscultate breath sounds every two to four hours and as needed. Notify physician of changes. Encourage patient to maintain semi fowlers or high fowlers position as tolerated. Encourage patient to change position every two hours and as needed, and assist as needed. Provide an encouraged fluid intake at least two liters per day unless contraindicated. Instruct patient and the significant others regarding isolation requirements and ensure that they adhere to the proper techniques. Nursing diagnosis. Acute pain related to cough. Nursing management. Assess patient for complaints of headaches, sore throat, general malaise, or body weakness, muscle aches, and pain. Assess changes in vital signs. Provide rest restful, quiet environment. Encourage gargling with warm water. Provide throat lozenges as necessary. Instruct patient or the significant others in deep breathing, relaxation techniques, guided imagery, massage, and other non-pharmacologic aids. Prognosis. The common cold is usually a mild, self-limiting illness that is confined to the nose and throat and therefore has an excellent prognosis. Colds usually last for 3 to 7 days, although 25% of cases last up to 2 weeks. Post-viral cough may continue for 4 weeks because the airways are more sensitive. Following recovery from the common cold, re-exposure to the same or similar virus usually produce reinfection, which is milder and of shorter duration than the initial illness.